So the joke is there's a lecture on every topic, and the, the, classic, the classic lecture, there's two classic lectures on this topic. One is the spiritual meaning of crisis. Yeah, but okay. The other one is a lecture called the anatomy of contraction. Okay. And what both of the lectures talk about is the fact that when you are in stasis, when you are stuck, something's got to happen. And that crisis basically represents when you, you can't stay where you are and you are not able to keep the life flow moving so that you can move through it or out of it. So what happens is, I like to use the word deconstruction rather than destruction. So as you say, uh, and I've experienced this too, I have lost jobs and it has been very painful and very difficult and, and gone through all kinds of, and found out that the freedom that that gave me, I was able to go much, much further in life than I would have if I'd stayed in that one place. So the question the lecture is asking is, why? Why do you want to stay in that one place? What are you afraid of? What is your imagination building here? So if you sit down with the columns and you say, well, here I have a steady income and I know I'm going to be employed for X amount of time and I know where the bathrooms are and I know who the people are and I'm comfortable and I feel at ease and therefore I feel I can do my job better, those are all life-affirming. We're not arguing with the life-affirming. But the interesting thing is to see what you put on the other side of the paper. For instance, I don't like strangers. I feel awkward around strangers. When I take a new job, it takes me forever to get to know people. And during that time period, it affects my work. I don't do, I don't work as well as I feel I can. To some degree, losing a job gives you more practice at taking on new job situations. So that over time, losing several jobs can actually break you free. Can you see where the one, even though it is life-affirming, has actually become calcified and has become duality? So the lecture is not saying, don't move towards life. It's saying that a movement towards life, because you're afraid of what's behind you, is not actually an affirmation of life. It's a fear of death. Now, if you move towards life and there are no distortions and no disharmonies and no conflicts, then go ahead. You're probably moving towards life. But the situations that we're dealing with are where conflicts and disharmonies come up. And in those situations, what the guide is suggesting is that despite your best intentions, you may have gone into dualistic thinking and limited your perspective and actually have an either-or mentality. And this is not going to bring in the power of the unitive. 